Greetings, and today we're going to talk about an experience that happened to me in high school at El Medina in Orange, California. Do you know that school, El Medina? Yeah, I know that school. We're going to talk about some experiences. Here we go. I was a senior in El Medina and my business teacher, Mrs. Johnson, came up to me and she said, you know what, Brian? She said, I have never seen a senior class win the Spirit Week and I want this to be the first year the senior class wins. Can you do that for me? And I said, Mrs. Johnson, if you give me a good grade in business, I will do that for you. And she said, okay. I wasn't a particularly good looking guy in high school and none of the girls liked me. I liked all the cheerleaders and they didn't like me so I don't know maybe I was just really ugly. I was a late bloomer. I was really awkward in school. So I was a class clown. I did a lot of fun things. I was a goof off and I was thinking what can I do? What can I do to win spirit week? And then I said ah I know and then I just thought it was Spirit Week. We we're playing Villa Park High School. You know, we play Villa Park every year and Spirit Week. Hi. Yeah, thank you. Oh, thank you, Pedro. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. I have a coconut. I have a coconut. I'm doing the vlog, and in the middle of my vlog, the worker gave me a coconut. I'm at a resort. I'm retired now, and I got a coconut. Going back to the story, we played Villa Park High School for Spirit Week, and I got together with uh, one of the football players. I believe his last name was Burton. And a friend of mine named Rory, and I said, you guys, let's go to Eisenhower Park and we will go in the middle of the night and we're going to kidnap some ducks because I like ducks and I think that El Medina was a good school for ducks. That's just cool. So we snuck in the middle of the night. It was about midnight or one in the morning and we went to Eisenhower Park. You know where that's at? That's over by like Tustin Avenue there in Orange. And I was driving somebody's old car and we were like snatching these ducks out of the pond, you know, the big pond there at Eisenhower. And we're snatching them, like jumping on them and grabbing them and stuff like, I got you, I got you, dude. And we're throwing all these ducks in the back of the car. And we had like six of them, we had six ducks. And so we snatched these six ducks and we had them now. And what are we gonna do next? We're gonna find out. I was thinking, hmm, what are we going to do with these ducks? So we got some paint and we painted the numbers of the Villa Park star players. Like, I think Martin, he was a player who was a star runner and he ended up playing for the Detroit Lions for a few years. And a bunch of players, we painted their numbers on these ducks. And then we said, what are we going to do with these ducks? And I said, we go to Villa Park and we're going to put them in the pool we're gonna take pictures of them and in the middle of the night it was like three in the morning we drove over to Villa Park after we painted the numbers of the football players and we made signs all over the pool we we're gonna put them it says Villa Park plays like a bunch of ducks We carried these signs and these ducks. We each had like two ducks in our hand and signs and everything. And we snuck to the pool of Villa Park in about three or four in the morning. And there was security guard driving around like looking and we're like hiding in the wall. Like, oh God, we're gonna get busted. We almost got busted. We're holding these ducks. I said, close the mouth of the ducks. We don't want them to go whack, whack, whack. So we closed the duck's mouth and then the security guard passed by he was driving one of those golf carts and then we'd start jumping over the fence and the first person over the fence we're like throwing the ducks and and handing them over and we got all these ducks and signs and we put all these ducks 
into the pool with the floating signs. They say like Villa Park's gonna lose to Elmo and they play like ducks and everything. It was So we did that, we took pictures. We're taking flash pictures, you know, like, oh no, they're gonna catch us. Gonna... But they didn't catch us. And we just were laughing our buns off and it was just great. And then uh, we went ahead and told Mrs. Johnson, that's what we did. And she was a judge for Spirit Week. And she said, guess what? You're gonna get your grade and seniors are gonna win the first year ever of the Spirit Week. And we had the stars like Mike Merck and Bobby Reese, and we had lots of great players. We went ahead and we won the CIF, and we went and we did really well. I think we lost to Temple City that year, but we went really far in the playoffs. Mrs. Johnson, she was so proud and happy and it was just really great. We had a big award thing and that's actually where the El Medina got the ducks. For many years, it was the quack attack. The El Medina ducks, quack quack. That came from this incident that we had with uh, Spirit Week where we went and we captured those ducks from Eisenhower Lake and we painted them up as Villa Park players and we put them in the pool. It was really great and it was just something fun. Actually, I just wanted the grade, but it was fun. I enjoyed it and I kind of like think I masterminded that one. I was always goofing off. I wasn't like the most handsome guy in school, so I had to do something, you know. But it was fun and had a great time. And also just going to the football games and seeing all the ducks uh, on the uniforms and stuff and thinking, I was a part of that, I think. I was a part of that. A few people tried to make rumors that they did it and stuff, but everyone knew that we were the ones in 77 who did the ducks. And they followed that tradition for many years, but I'm not sure if they do it today. But El Medina rules and the ducks at Villa Park High School pool was the bomb. And senior winners, 77, we won the Spirit Week. Woo! That's it, the class of 77 and the ducks. I was a motorcycle racer professionally about that time. And guess what my number was and is today, 77. I hope you had a good time about the ducks. It was really special and to be a part of the heritage of the Elmo football team was really great. And just to be a part of the whole thing was really wonderful. And this is just one of the many memories of my high school days at Elmo.